girls, here we go. Hot off the presses. Oh, hell yes. Personally autographed by the my will. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, 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 I. Both of y'all, slow your roll. All right? These puppies are $20 a book. OK, why would we pay 20 when you sell them up and down Crenshaw for 15 I'm getting 18 on La Brea. And over here in Citytyville, it's 20. Well, I am from Fresno, so here's five. Honey, ain't where you're from, it's where you're at. You can't mess with me, I'm gonna make it 25. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I am happy to pay 20, because I'm proud of you, Maya. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know what, give me two. Because somehow or other, I'm gonna end up buying one for Lynn. Come well, go on and give the other copy to your mama, because Lynn already bought one for $10 on the Alvarado off-ramp. <laughs> <laughs> you selling your book on the freeway. Off-ramp, get it right. <laughs> Starving. Oh, me too. I always am after. Yeah, me too. Then 30 minutes after I eat, I'm ready for... Me too. <laughs> wow. Grandpa Poe's organic soy snacks? I live on those. Me too. They're a great source of protein. I'm a vegan. Me too. Seven, Seven years. years. <laughs> oh, wow. I just want you to know that I don't usually meet somebody at a free concert in the park and then take them home. That is not me. Well, it used to be me. But it's not me anymore. <laughs> Actually, before you, I was doing the whole celibacy thing. Me too. Yeah, I went for 10 months. I was trying to build up my chi. Oh, you certainly had a lot of it. <laughs> well, I didn't plan to fall off the wagon, but there you were. So mm. beautiful and so perfect. Mm, there you were. Your vibe was so intense. Oh, it's <laughs> weird. God, I've spent so much of my life searching for myself, you know? Just jumping from one thing to another. Me too! How much jumping did you do? Oh, I have four postgraduate degrees. You're kidding. I know, it's crazy. No, what's crazy is I have five. What? Psych, anthro, English lit, poli sign. There's one other that I can never remember, but I know I rocked. Dude, I studied rocks. <laughs> Geology was one of my degrees. I would have stayed in school forever if my family and friends had let me continue to mooch. Oh my God. Okay, you are killing me softly with your song. We're so in sync. So, do you think we're ready to take this to the next level? Oh. Yeah, I think so. Oh, great. My name's Lenny. Mine's Lynn. Dear Pepito, I'm glad to hear my care package reached you safely. I'm sorry the banditos confiscated the cookies and the penicillin. <laughs> While you recover from your ringworm, I hope you enjoy the Spider-Man comic books I sent you. And when you're back on your feet, you can use the pages to plug the holes in your shoes. As I have not yet had a chance to go to Nike Town as you've requested in your previous letters. And Pepito, thank you for your good advice about Joan. I really liked you comparing her to a wild boar, as she can be unpredictable and shifty. For that reason, for so many others, I've decided that she and I are better off as friends. It's for the best, and I'm relieved to be able to move on. Hi, I'm William. I'm Kara. Can I buy you a drink? I like that. Speaking of moving on, I hope you've given more thought to moving your hut away from that threatening volcano. <laughs> your affectionate sponsor, Guillermo. Okay, and then the capper of the whole evening was when we realized we're both allergic to cashews. <laughs> yeah, and of course we found out that in the emergency room. That's where we discovered something else we have in common. No health insurance. Right, Mr. William Dent. Right you are, Joan Clayton. Wow, you two are meant for each other. No, you two are meant to be prosecuted. You know I'm unemployed. Don't be messing with my cobra. Okay, stop. I don't want to be all up in your business, but you two haven't done it yet, have you? Yeah. Oh, that's nasty. Because y'all know y'all are brother and sister. What? Look at you. Y'all are both tragic mulattoes. You're both petty criminals. You both look like you've been rode hard and hung up wet. <laughs> that's crazy. I think I'd know if I had a brother. Is that the adopted girl who doesn't know who her daddy is? Maya. I'm just saying, this is a crazy world. This kind of stuff happens. You remember those two dumb-looking guys who were best friends for mm. 20 years? 
Found out they were brothers. No, this is nuts. Lynn was born in Virginia, and I was born here in L.A. Oh, then it's settled, because people never travel from state to state. <laughs> Joan, not you two. I'm not saying I'm on board, but you two do look alike, and there are about eight Shakespeare plays based on the premise. And if you felt the need to write eight plays about it, then it can't just be happenstance. Okay, I guess I am on board. <laughs> Um, front desk. Look, I've left three messages for my husband, Dr. Todd Garrett, on his voicemail yesterday, and I'm not sure that he got them. Oh, he did? Well, that doesn't make much sense, because if he got them, he would have called me back because I'm his wife. And he loves me. I'm a goddess to him. <laughs> uh, look at here. What's your name? Vesta. Well, Vesta, why don't you skip your happy ass on up to his room and... No, 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 don't, don't, don't hang up on me, Vesta. Vesta, my girl. <laughs> Look, um, can I just leave him another message? No, I don't want to be transferred to voicemail. Hi, baby. It's me. Um, I'm not sure that you got my other messages, but I was just thinking about you. I saw on the news that it's raining in New York, so I hope you're staying dry and having fun. <laughs> Call me. I love you. I miss you. Bye. Hey, look at that. Mm -hmm. I never noticed. We have the same belly button. Okay, I'm done. Well, hang in there with me because I'm not. No, Lenny, what I mean is I can't do this. Why not? Lynn, you don't seriously think I'm your brother, do you? No. Well... Although, I did do some research online and Maya's right. It's a crazy world out there. Did you know that there were these twins on Long Island that were separated at look, birth? Look, look. My parents have been happily married for 33 years. I have a brother and a sister who I'm pretty damn sure is not you. Okay, fine. What does your father do for a living? He's a saxophone player. Oh, no. Saxophone players are notorious. Did you ever travel with a band or have a hankering for bipolar girls? No and no. Now, are we done? Um, look, Lenny, I don't want to end up on Jerry Springer showing off my four-legged baby because I didn't do the research. I know we're not related. Because if you really were my sister, there's one word in the English language that you absolutely cannot pronounce. Not Paschetti. Welcome to the family. <laughs>
Got a picture of Ben Franklin and his son by the treasure. Now take your bouncer checks over there, them Girl Scouts, they look stupid. Why, why are you messing with my cell? I'm after trying to help you. You see, that's what's bumping me, Tony. Why are you, of all people, trying to help somebody? Because I believe in you, Maya, and your book. Wait, wait, wait. Either you dying or you don't kill somebody. Either way, you're trying to get right with the Lord. Tony, don't be bringing me and my book into Satan's business. Don't do it. I don't need to get right with the Lord, Maya. My life is perfect. It's such a well-oiled machine that I had time to come out here and help you. But now I have to go. I have to meet who? My husband. Remember what that is? You used to have one. Tony. What's going on with you? Nothing. You and Todd in trouble? Girl, the only trouble we are having is deciding where to go to dinner tonight, okay? Babu. <laughs> Todd, I ain't playing with you. Your little ass better call me. I'm walking around town like Goonie Goo Goo talking about I got a husband. I don't even know where my husband is. But for real though, I love you. I miss you. Call me. Thank you. You can't be hawking the book from the side of the road, all right? Now, I told you, you got to be weaving in and out in between the cars. She told me not to play in traffic. Well, we ain't playing, we working, okay? <laughs> oh, hell yes, right off the press. Just $18, come on. Oh, hell yes. Maya Wilkes, the next time you're selling your books along the side of the road, would you give your cousin a shout out? I have been from Long Beach to Magic Mountain looking for you. And you know Aretha here does not get good gas mileage. Ronnie, why did you just call me? Because some news is just too big for the cell phone. Oh my God, did somebody die? Girl, this is bigger than death. This is about money. Some big book publisher called. They heard you were making a killing out here with a whole hell yes. What? Maya, girl, I think they want to sign you to a big book deal. Fly you to New York, first class, put you up in the Royale, and that's four stars, honey, so you know they ain't playing. I think they go sign you to a five-figure deal. Okay, wait, 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 Ronnie, slow your roll. Just slow down for a minute. Somebody actually called the salon and told you that? And why wouldn't they? I am your manager. So throw those books in the car. Jabari, quit playing in the trap and get in this car, boy. Your mama's famous now. Excuse me, amigo. Uh, could I get a sack of oranges and uh, some tube socks size 13? Oh, and some roses. Oh, muchas gracias, honey. Oh, yes. Oh, muchas gracias. Here you are. You know I'm bilingual. <laughs> so cute. Here, girl. Congratulations. Definitely not your brother. Nope. Well, could he be your kissing cousin? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. Just, this is great. You finally have a boyfriend and a good one. Ooh. No, I don't. I broke up with him. What? Every time I looked at him, I kept thinking he could have been my brother. Yeah, but he's not your brother. But he could have been. Anyone could be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's my point. I have holes in my life. Like, who is my father? Does he have any kids? And have I loved any of them up? <laughs> Joan, don't you see, I'm freaking out about this. And as long as I'm freaking, I can't get my freak on. <laughs> Lenny was such a good guy. This'll pass. Pass? This isn't a kidney stone. This is my life. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to find the magic key that unlocks the door to my soul. I just want to know where I'm from. In the end, it may not mean anything, but at the very least, I'll know who I can and can't sleep with. Why start now? <laughs> True. Well, at least I'll know who my dad is. Oh, God. I hope I haven't slept with him. Here's the thing about you women. You wait till Sunday, there's 14 games on, and you want to reevaluate the relationship. How come you don't want to reevaluate when Oprah's on? 
because Oprah is the one who told us we need to reevaluate. Well, I want to say this right now for men everywhere, and in case this first date goes really well, I do not reevaluate on Sunday. That day is strictly for the Lord and the NFL. Ah, oh, hey, stranger. Joan, hey. Where have you been? I haven't seen you for like a week. Well, I've been trying to woo Kara here, get her to go out with me. Oh, my God, you're on a date. I'm so sorry. No, 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 Joan. This is Kara. Kara, this is Joan. Hey, She's nice to meet you. She's an old work nice buddy of mine. Nice to meet you. So, I'm, I'm waiting for Tony, so I can just meet her at the bar. Oh, no, 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 no. You two catch up. I need to go to the little girl's room. Oh, thank you. Oh. Kara, huh? Cute. Oh, <laughs> you know how I do. Yeah, I know you usually don't, which is why I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> but since I'm here, could you buy me a drink? Because you know I'm unemployed. Yes. Yes. Bartender, a mojito, please. Thank you. Easy on the sugar, light on the mint, and Perrier no club soda. And if you could use the Haitian, Haitian rum. Thank you. So, you heard about Maya? She's going to get published. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, she can find time to write a whole book, but she can't type up a three-page memorandum. I know. <laughs> I'm proud of her, though. Me too. Me too, yeah. Don't tell her I said that. She'll ask for more days off. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and <clears throat> guess who's uh, going to find her father? Really? Yeah. That was bound to happen. Yeah. Isn't it funny how life keeps changing? You know, I mean, Lynn could find her father, and what's that going to do to her life? I'm gonna give her somebody else to mooch off. And then me, whoever would have thought I was gonna quit being a lawyer and do what I'm doing now. <laughs> Mooching drinks off the employed. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So, basically, I've become Lynn. But Tony's been married for a whole year. Mm. I lost a hundred bucks on that one. <laughs> I'm happy for her. Me too, me yeah. too. Kinda sad for Todd, though. And you, William. You made senior partner. My God. Of course, it's not a surprise. I mean, I knew that was gonna happen. You deserve it. They'd be a fool to let you go. Oh. Hmm? <sighs> I'd be a fool to let you go. I'm sorry, Joan, I can't stop thinking about you. I've tried to, but I can't. I know we're just friends and everything, but I want there to be more. I know I can make you so happy. I love you, Joan. Oh. So, all caught up? Yeah. <laughs> Guess that's a yes? <laughs>
Really, I, this is like a dream come true for me. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even have the words, which is funny since I'm a writer. <laughs> Great, let's dig in. <laughs> Maya loved the book. Very real, very funny, very winning. An obvious niche in the urban market. Thank you, because that's what I was going for. But we <laughs> want to go in a different direction, which brings us to the title. Oh, hell yes. It's a little too around the way. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, what, what does that mean? Uh, ghetto. <laughs> okay, well, I, I like the title. You know, it, 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 it expresses the message of, of the book. It's, it's where I'm from, it's who I am. You know, people are buying it, it also use Bibles at the church swap meet. <laughs> Self-publishing is all well and good. I applaud your pluck, but I think I know how to sell books. Okay, but I think I Maya and Julie knows what she's doing. You're very lucky to have her. <laughs> So, onward and upward reports, Albert. Well, here's the mock-up of the cover we've been working on. Voila. When I read the book, I thought, I thought of flowers. <clears throat> Women love flowers. Women buy flowers. Research shows, put a flower on a book, women will buy it. What was wrong with my cover? The black woman yelling from the top of a roof. Mm -hmm. Run it by a focus group. Lost their focus. <laughs> but Maya, Albert knows what he's doing. You're lucky to have him. Naisa, quick overview. Publicity is all about positioning and angles, so we thought that your angle could be the struggling single mother. Harry Potter wouldn't be Harry Potter unless they milked the fact that J.K. Rowling was a welfare mother. Excuse me? I'm not saying that you're a welfare mother, but could we? <laughs> no, any chance that your ex-husband abused you? What? Because I could sell that. <laughs> Everybody, this is, is kind of crazy. Maya. I, I, I know, I'm lucky to have her. You know what, Maya? We're jumping ahead. We've got to get the book ready first. Let Susan give you her notes on the book so you can start your rewrite. You didn't say anything about a rewrite. I know, but you're lucky to have me. <laughs> All right, what was so important you had to interrupt my daily slogs through Barney's? Tony, I know. What do you know? That I bought a sweater for my husband who adores me. <laughs> Todd called me from New York. I know you're separated. Okay, you did not fall for that. Girl, ain't nobody separated. You know Todd and his crazy Jewish sense of humor always stressing the irony. Tony, that doesn't even make any sense. Hey, I didn't say he was any good at it. <laughs> Okay, Todd said you were in denial, and obviously he was right. Sweetie, it's me. Just talk to me. Todd left me. No! Hold that thought. No! I'm not here, oh, and you're not here. But, but he can see me. Okay, I'm not here. No, wait. Tell him I'm in a coma. That's crazy. No, wait a minute. Okay, tell him I'm dead. Okay, but he could also see me talking to someone. Right. What's wrong with the coma? Oh, for the love of God. Come on in, William. She's on the floor. Joan, we've got to talk. Not now. I'm, I'm not ready. Is what I said so crazy? I just need some more time. I'll call you when I'm ready, okay? What? Yes. You'll call? When I'm ready. <laughs> just about to get back from Egypt, thank you. We gotta go get packed. I ain't going to Egypt. Of course not. William's going to Egypt. And while he's there, looking for me all up and through the pyramids of Giza, I'm gonna be with you in New York, helping you get your husband back. Hey, you're pretty crappy for a bitch in a coma. Your birth father. Honey, I'm crazy and heavily medicated. I barely remember what I did this morning. You know, Sandy, please. Please, I didn't come all the way to Virginia to play Ring Around the Bipolar. Okay. Okay. I did meet a bunch of black men on my way home from Woodstock. Woodstock? That was two years before I was born. I didn't say I came right home. <laughs> Sandy, take your feet off the table. Okay. Remember, you, your mother said something about my father being a man you met on a bus. Bus. Right. 
I did in 1970 hitch a ride with the Harlem Globetrotters. But you don't have Meadowlark's height. <laughs> Sandy, just tell her. There's nothing to tell. Just tell her so we can get this over with. You tell her I didn't have anything to do with it. What? Tell me what? We paid your father to go away. What? We didn't do anything. You and Daddy did it. He wanted to marry me. That boy was after our money. We were in love. Oh, you were in love with a ball of yarn for a month and a half. <laughs> you were off your rock. I mean, your daddy and I had to protect you. You weren't fit to be a mother or a wife. You didn't send him away because I was sick. You paid him off because he was a black man. He took the money, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah, and what about the ball of yarn, old woman? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna check the front desk for messages. Sweetie, you just checked your messages from the room. Girl, that was 25 floors in the very long hallway ago. See, that's why your ass is still single. <laughs> okay, I'm going outside to hail a cab, and your ass better be out there. Oh, I'm, it'll be out I'm there. I'm hungry. Okay. God. <laughs> William. Oh, my God. Joan. William. I told you I would call you when I was ready. I can't believe you followed me all the way to New York when you know damn well I'm in, I'm, I'm in Egypt. Woman, please. Nobody followed you to New York. Maya called me about her book deal. She needed a lawyer, so I flew here. Tony needed a friend, so I flew here. Look, maybe it's fate that we're both here. Now we can talk. We can take a carriage ride in the park. I can propose to you. Okay. So, all right, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I didn't want it to be this heavy. But face it, if you didn't feel anything for me, you wouldn't be running from me. That's ridiculous. Gotta run. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm looking for Dr. Todd. Oh, never mind. I see you. Tony, calm down. You're gonna get me fired. Now the adulterer's worried about getting fired. I am not having an affair. Tony, honestly, we're just working together. You better be glad you work for a makeover show because you're about to get cut. Jesus. Excuse me. I am working, which is why we cannot talk right now, but we will talk later, so please just go. No, we're gonna talk about it now, little man. No, we are not. Joan, can you just please take your friend? Um, Tony, sweetie, let's go. Are you trying to leave me? Joan. Okay. Uh, no, Todd, 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 please, please don't leave me. Don't leave me. I don't care what you did. I don't care. I don't oh. care. I don't care if you cheated. Just come back, Tony. please. I know that we can. It's okay, sweetie. Oh. Come on, let's just go. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But I love you. I know, sweetie. Everyone here knows. <laughs> Oh, uh-uh. Why did you cross out everywhere I use the word girl? Because you used it 924 times. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hell no. What's wrong with the title of chapter nine? I don't think people will understand Grease Ain't Just For Your Head. <laughs> Not until they read it, they won't. We're trying to appeal to the broadest possible audience. No, you're trying to take the black out of it. That's absurd. We value our urban readers. Okay, you know, you know what, Susan, please, honestly, you've really got to stop throwing the word urban at me, okay? It doesn't even make sense. Hell, a lot of black folk, a country. <laughs> Look, if white women, Asian women, Latina women want to read it, fine. But I wrote it for the sisters. And if you take that away from them, then I don't need you. You came to me, remember? I was doing fine by my damn self. On the street? It was a boulevard, get it right. <laughs> okay, you know what? I can see we need a break. Let's go out, grab a bite, and cool down before the big meeting this afternoon. Okay, fine. So, lunch? Yeah. Soho? I said yeah, bitch. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just trying to do my job. I'm trying to meet your needs and the needs of this damn company. I love your book, and I don't know why you feel the need to come in and attack me. What did I do to you? You called me a bitch. You called me a hoe. 
Okay, Soho is a neighborhood. <laughs> oh, my bad. So you really love my book? Yes. I am the one who convinced them to buy it. If it were up to me, I wouldn't change a thing. Then don't. There's a system here. My hands are tied. You read, oh, hell yes. You loved it, right? Of course, I... No, no, oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. Yes, yes, did you believe in it? Oh, hell yes. Are you the editor around here? Oh, hell yes. Do you believe it's worth taking a risk for a vision you believe in? Oh, hell yes. Susan, are you gonna march right down there and fight for the integrity of this book? Maybe. Susan? <laughs> oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. Ow. $300 for a knockoff Louis Vuitton? Come on now. Look, look, it's real leather. I see the leather, but it's supposed to say LV, not VV. What is this? It's Luis's brother. Victor. Okay, 250. Look, I have rent to pay. Okay, what about 200? The lady will pay 25. Okay. Okay, sold. <laughs> William, I asked you to please stop following me. I'm not following you. All right, let's follow you. Just tell me how you feel. I can handle it. All right, fine. If you want to talk, let's talk, but go over there. Go over there. William, um, I have really deep feelings for you. I love you. Yeah, I know, I know, as a brother. But I thought maybe after the kiss you might feel a little different, you know. But obviously you don't. And that's fine. See, that's why I didn't want to talk to you, because I was afraid I'd hurt your feelings. No, no, look, I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. Things are never going to be the same between us. Sure they are. Look, I'm gonna start dating some hot woman. You're gonna start dating some guys yet to realize what a handful you are. I'll get tired of my woman. Not unlike your man, will get tired of you. We'll bump into each other at the annual Juneteenth picnic. As we're waiting for the emancipation burgers and freedom chips, we're gonna fall back into that easy rapport and everything's gonna be the way it was. I'll see you back in Los Angeles. To oh hell yes! To oh hell yes! Woohoo! Mm. Oh wait, wait, wait! And one more toast mm -hmm. to my editor Susan. My girl told them it was my eyes way or the high eyes way. <laughs> See how we got this dude? We're playing easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clearly. Mm. Oh, Joan! Would you look at this? Look at this! Look at this! Twenty-five thousand dollars. A mini suite at the Royale and a mm. fully stocked mini bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, girl, hand me a $20 Kit Kat. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, now that my life is perfect, let's fix shows. <laughs> so what's up? With you and William. We're just gonna be friends. Okay, Jen. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. I mean, why would you want to be with a man who offered to marry you? when you thought you were pregnant. Who's as cornucopia about holidays as you are? Who didn't write you off when you gave up a lucrative career and embarked on this downward spiral? <laughs> who has been the only man in your life who hasn't run screaming? William and I are friends. And why would I want to complicate that with a relationship? If I learned anything today, it's to stay single. You should have seen Tony. God, she was groveling. She was screaming and crying and... She went all Howard Dean in front of a room full of strangers. Hello? I'm under a blanket, not a cone of silence. Yeah, well, I had to get you out of there somehow. I was afraid you were gonna suffocate under there, Tony. Have you not read my soon-to-be best-selling book, Chapter 10? When your man cheats, move your feet. You know what, Maya? Everybody doesn't get a divorce just because their husband's having sex with another woman. Oh, hell, that cheat on me, too. I'm a mess. I deserved it. Honey, nobody deserves to be cheated on. Uh-uh-uh. It doesn't matter if he did or if he didn't. If he takes me back, I'm gonna be a better wife and give him a little something-something twice a week. <laughs> yes, I said twice a week. And what? Oh, Joan, 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 could you get that? It's probably room service with my celebratory cheese tray. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I can get that. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Hi, Ben. What, what are okay. you doing here?
here. Hey, guys. Damn, girl. You like a mooch hound. I ain't had this chick a good hour, and here you come. <laughs> Business. What are you doing here? Playing and shopping on my way back from Europe. You look good. So do you. Kenneth Miles. Oh. That's his name. For a second, I thought it was Metal Lark Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Kenneth Miles. You know, the thing that I can't get past is that they paid him off. How much? Tony, what? If they paid him a million, she'd feel a lot better about herself. I'm trying to help her, sister. Y'all rubbing her back, what's that gonna do? You know, I don't even want to meet him. Why in the hell would I want to? He's a coward for taking the money. Well, sweetie, at least we know he's not stupid. Tony! You're right, he is stupid. Who takes a million dollar payoff in Selsley, New Jersey? You know what? Enough about this. Give me some bubbly. I want to celebrate Maya's book. Yeah. Hey, remember, Lynn, what I said in my book? Just because your papa's a rolling stone doesn't mean you're alone. What? Just because you may not have a relationship with your father doesn't mean that you don't have people in, in the world who love you. How does that pertain to whether or not she should go and meet him? I don't know. I'm a little buzzed. <laughs> Lynn, sweetie, you've come this far just... Go see him. It's what's in your heart anyway. And Joan, it's okay for you to love William if that's what's in your heart. What? I'm just saying, life is too short. It's time we all get on with it. Yeah, get on. Cause all your depressed bitches ate up all my brain. <laughs> put on 25 pounds. Hi, can I help you? Hello? Hi. Uh, Hi, can I help you? Yes, uh, are, are you a Mr. Kenneth Miles? Yes, may I help you? I'm Joan Clayton from the United States Census Bureau, and we are doing a follow-up on the 2000 Census. Four years later? Hey, that's your tax dollars not working for you. Look, I'm kind of busy. Uh, just have a couple of follow-up questions. Hey, hon, turn off my gravy. Uh, how many children do you have? Two boys. My wife filled out the form, and I'm pretty sure she put that down there. Yes, she did. And we are just verifying that. So, are we all done? Uh, just, just one more question. We just needed to know if you have any other children living outside of the household. No. Well, I guess I'm done here. Thank you. Wait a minute, hold up. There is one more. I don't know where she is. Okay, you and Natalie had an affair. It's over. Well, Tony, it's over. Damn straight, and you need to get her fired. I may let you get away with cheating, but that heaven's gotta go down. Tony, you and I are over. What kind of marriage do we have where it's okay that I have an affair, which I didn't have, by the way? The fact that you say it's okay, it's not okay. The man that you married wouldn't cheat on you, and the fact that you think I would, says I married the wrong woman. Damn it, Todd, I'm just trying to make this work. That's my point, it's not working. You know what? I'll be damned if you divorce me just when I'm getting the hang of this marriage thing. Why are you fighting this? Why does our marriage suddenly matter to you? Why, why are you trying to hold on to me when you never really loved me at all? Damn it, Todd. I'm pregnant. Yeah, 
them, Joan. So go get them. to check out my works. Hmm. Ma'am, I need you to sign this bill. No, 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 I don't need to sign anything. My, uh, my publisher, Intervision Press, has got this covered, so. <laughs> no, ma'am. They cover the room. You're responsible for the incidentals. $600. Mm -hmm. $300 for champagne, which is a $100 cheese tray. Oh, hell, Macy, I know this is wrong because ain't nobody had and ain't nobody paying for a $20 Kit Kat. <laughs>